Hey, this is Ken Rosever, and I promised I would go over this chapter test and post a video on YouTube. So here it is. This is on page 97. And we went over some of these in class, but just for, for review, I'm going to go through all these and then all the other problems that are in this little chapter test here. Uh, if you want to uh, shut off the video and try these problems on your own first, that's the best idea. And then um, go through them with me after you've tried them on your own. So I'm going to begin. Uh, the first one says the set containing the elements 1, Y, triangle, and dollar sign is equivalent to this other set containing P, pound, 5, and square. And the answer is that is true. True. And why is it true? Um, because the cardinalities are the same. Same number of elements are in both. So there we go. The number two. <laughs> I just reminded myself of Barack Obama. Number two. Okay, anyways. Um, 3, 5, 9, and H. Is that equivalent to, or not equal, equivalent to, I'm sorry, is that equal to the set over here containing 3, 5, 9, and H? Is that this equal to 9, 5, 3, and J? And the answer is no, it's not. So this statement is false because they don't have the same elements. Have different members, we'll say. The next question asks, is the set star, moon, sun a proper subset of star, moon, sun, planet? And the answer is yes, because all of these are in here. So remember the definition of proper subset. A is a proper subset of B if all the elements of A are in B, but B has something that A does not. And you can see this is set B over here, and B has planet, which A does not. So the answer is uh, that's true. So uh, because of the definition. All right, now we, here we have the set containing the number 7 is a subset of the set of values such that those values are natural numbers and all of them are less than 7. The problem here is there's no equal sign. Right? So if we write this set here in roster form, this set here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you can see 7 is not a subset of that set. So this one is false. Down here we have the empty set is not a subset of the set containing zero, but this is false because the empty set is a subset of all sets. Okay. The next question is P, Q, R, and S. The set containing these four elements has 15 subsets, and the answer is that's false because if there are four elements, there are two to the fourth, 16 subsets. If the word proper was in here, and that would have been true. But it's not in there, so the answer is false. Why? Because it has 16 subsets. I apologize for my penmanship here. Alright, what do we have next? If A intersect B is empty, then A and B are disjoint sets. That's totally true. If A intersect B, that's that's this region here. If there's nothing in there, then these two sets have no elements in common, and therefore they're disjoint. So that is true. So far we had this is true, this is false, this is true, this is false, this is false, this is false, um, this is true. Scroll down. For any set A, A union A complement is empty. No. A union A complement is the universe. Remember to unite. The union means put them together. If you put um, A together with A complement, then you're going to get the whole universe because the complement has everything that's not an A. So they complete each other. Um, if this had said instead A intersect a complement, then the answer would have been the empty set. So this is 
false. And this number 9, for any set A, A intersect the universe is A, that is true, because where does A overlap the universe at A? All right. Let's look at number 10. Write this set in roster form. So A is a set of values such that the values are natural numbers and less than 9. So natural numbers begin at 1, and we're only going to go up to 8, because it doesn't say less than or equal to 9. Write a description of set A. You could say, you could put a bunch of answers. I'm not going to write them down, but you could say A is a set of values, uh, or the set of natural numbers between 0 and 9. You could say the set of natural numbers between 1 and 8 inclusive. Stuff like that. Okay, that brings us to number 12. And here's what we have. We're given this information. The universe is 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, so odd numbers. And then A is 3, 5, 7, 9, and B is 7, 9, 11, 13, and C is 3, 11, 15. And if we wanted, we could just draw ourselves a little sketch here. A, B, C. What do they all have in common? Nothing, right? So that would be empty. What's in the intersection of A, B, C? What do A and B have in common? A 7 and a 9. So I'll put a 7 and a 9 here. What do B and C have in common? An 11. So I'll put an 11 here. What do those have in common? A 3. So I'll put a 3 here. And then, let's see, that leaves me with a 5, a 13, a 15. Let's see, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. So there's nothing left out here. All right. So that's our picture. Erase that. Okay, they want us to determine the following. A, intersect B. A intersect B, what's in the intersection? I'll just color it in here. 7 and 9. All right, so my answer on that first one is 7, 9. On 13, it says A united with C complement. So C complement is everything outside of C. All right, but I'm uniting it with A. So here's A, and if I put those together, 3 gets added back in. So the only things that are left out are 15 and 13. So the answer here would be, you could actually say 11, I said 15, 13, but I meant 11 and 15, not. <laughs> it's not those two. Or we could say, this is a better answer actually, 3, 5, 7, 9, uh, 13. Number 14, it says A intersect, B intersect C complement. So we're going to have to figure out what B intersect C complement is. So, all right, got to start with B intersect C. B intersect C is just 11. That's what they have in common. The complement of that is, whoops, not 11, so not 11 is 3, 5, 7, 9. What does A, which is 3, 5, 7, and 9, have in common with this thing over here? Well, it has, it has a 3 right there, it has a 5 there, and a 7, and a 9, which are all in there also. So that's our answer there. Um, 3, 5, 7, 9. You could also write it as can you hear my bird? As A. All right, and lastly, the question on this page is, what is the cardinality of A intersect B complement? A intersect B complement. Basically, this is the same as A uh, minus B, if you think about it. Because what is this saying? This is how many, the cardinality, how many things are in A and not in B. 
So what's in A that's not in B? 5 and 3. Now if you want to break it down step by step, this is what you do. You figure out B complement. B complement is 5, 3, and 15, right? And we're going to intersect that with A, which is 3, 5, 7, and 9. What do they have in common? The 3 and the 5. So this in here is 3, 5, which is the same thing I got this way. And what is the cardinality of a set containing 3 and 5? The answer is N of A intersect B complement is 2. So that's that one. Let's see if there's anything more on that on the next page. Oh, of course there is. There's always something more. So, all right. So again, we have this information up top. They have A minus B here, which is number 16. Remember what A minus B is asking. A minus B is the same as saying what elements are in A that are not in B. It's the same as this. Right, those two things are exactly the same. Um, and we already figured that out. If you compare them, the things that are in B, we would get rid of. So what do they have in common? 7 and 9. So we'd leave those out. And the answer would be 3 and 5. All right. The last one, number 17, um, says, let me make bigger ink here, um, A cross C and there would be, there's N of A is 4, cardinality of C, N of C is 3, so we know that this um, set, A cross C, will contain 12 elements. What will they be? Well, the easiest way to do this, I said, was to set up a grid. Um, put A down this way, do C across this way, C has 3, 11 and 15. A has 3, 5, 7, and 9. So the first point would be 3, 3. Then 3, 11, because it's A cross C. And then 3, 15, 5, 3, um, 5, 11, and then 515 and then 73 711 715 then 93 911 and then 915 and that would be a cross c and the last uh, problem here, number 18, says using the uh, sets provided for 12 through 17 draw a Venn diagram illustrating the relationship. That's what I did right here. So we're done with um, 12 to 18. So let me see how much time I've taken. All right, we'll call it quits there, and I'll do the second half in another video. All right, bye-bye.